premieres. Not just a dream car, a dream supercar. Check out the SUV stars at the Geneva podiums. Compact, electric, or concept car festival premieres. And finally, the stunning motor show hostesses. The new supercars on the starting line at this 86th Geneva Motor Show. In pole position, the Bugatti Chiron, a world premiere. The successor to the Veyron is even more impeccable. 1,500 horsepower, 420 kilometers per hour, priced 2.4 million euros. The driving experience is simply sensational. When we developed the Chiron, we aim to improve all the tangible dimensions, acceleration, maximum speed, driving experience. A birthday present to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the birth of Ferruccio Lamborghini. The Aventador V12 Centenario, 770 horsepower, 350 kilometers per hour, only 40 units at the price of 2 million euros. Nice gift. Ferrari unveils the Lusso GTC4, a prancing horse, four seats and four-wheel steering. 690 horsepower, 335 kilometers per hour, perfect for a small family vacation. A McLaren for the road, the 570 GT offers a small glass window on the back with trunk storage capacity of 370 liters, less radical and more comfortable than the S version. Aston Martin responds with a secret DB11 that even James Bond hasn't seen. New 5.2 liter twin turbo V12 engine, 600 horsepower. All our technology is there to reinforce that this is a DB. It's an Aston Martin GT sports car so everything that we put into the car needs to reinforce that message. Porsche unveils their new Boxster 718, abandoning the legendary flat-six engine for a four-cylinder, but performance is up. Jaguar muscles its way in with the F-Type SVR V8 supercharged 575 horsepower, 322 kilometers per hour. The inviting Italians are back. Alfa Romeo Giulia Revival, star of the 60s, up to 510 horsepower. The legendary Fiat 124 Spider, reborn on a Mazda MX-5 platform in an Italian style. This muscular Arbroath version, 170 horsepower, nostalgic for La Dolce Vita. Small, compact or sports, SUVs are the current bestsellers. The world premiere Levante, Maserati's big sports SUV, a V6 430 horsepower to compete against the Porsche Cayenne. It's a perfect combination also because it gives us a poor off-road capability, not only on-road capability, uh, thanks to the fact that we have a, as a standard, the air suspension combined with 100% a sporty all-wheel drive system. Seat's first SUV, the Ateca, a compact based on the Tiguan. Kia offers the Nero, a compact SUV gasoline hybrid. A quirky style, unusual for this small Audi Q2, rival of the Mini Countryman. And the future SUVs. The Vision S concept, big seven-seat Skoda crossover, planned for 2017. Strong lines for Toyota's CHR concept, spectacular, a contender to the Capture or Juke, the SUV wars on. With 120 world and European premieres, Geneva creates quite the event in 2016. Renault unveils their fourth generation Senec, breathing new life into the compact MPV to look very crossover. Sexy. Sexier, more attractive, but of course, with all the interior features that you're used to. Fiat Tipo is back after 20 years. With its premiere, this five-door station wagon, the Honda Civic Hatchback Concept, foreshadows the next Japanese compact Type R. Suzuki presents a hybrid version of its compact Baleno, lower fuel consumption. Among the larger vehicles, the Mercedes E-Class, a high-tech 10th generation. Perhaps the most intelligent business limousine in the world. It has a next level of intelligent drive with uh, more features for autonomous driving, also the latest and greatest in terms of Mercedes safety systems. It's a fully connected car. Swedish specialty, the big family station wagon. The V90 is already emerging as a symbol of elegance. For the trendy, the Hyundai Ioniq, a simple hybrid choice, rechargeable or electric. The cool electric Citroen Mahari E, small cabrio, or the supercharged electric with the concept car DSE Tense. 100% electric engine, 400 horsepower, 250 kilometers per hour at its peak.
Glamorous and charismatic, the hostesses are also stars of the Geneva Motor Show. It attracts the attention of men, I think. We're here to decorate the cars. It allows the visitors to have a living soul next to the wheels of the cars. It's nice. Cameras in hand, Motor Show fans never forget to seek out the lovely ladies behind the booths. But I focus on a woman and then I take a complete view. It fits very well to the car, of course. It goes well, like you have wine with cheese. And with a little tact before a snapshot, they're sure to deliver a stunning smile. Everyone is treating us properly, asking us for permission before taking a picture and saying thank you each time. It's part of the game, you have to kind of accept it. <laughs> 